Jolt labeling is extremely customizable, so if you need labels that don't fit the templates you have been given, you can come online to the web portal and navigate to Content and then Labels. Selecting the Templates tab will let you see all the templates you currently have, including all the items that are included on those templates. In this video, we will take an existing template and get you oriented on how to adjust those items to better fit your needs. This will be an introduction and orientation to customizing your own templates in Jolt, but you can find links to more advanced examples and how-to videos in the video description below. Selecting Add New Template here, I can create a new template from scratch, which is not recommended until you've had some orientation first. Or, you can take one of the starter templates that Jolt provides for you. So let's take a basic one by one template here. And especially if you're going to use different size labels, it's often good practice to name your templates by the size of the labels so you can easily recognize them. For this template, I'm planning on changing to two by one labels, as well as removing the time from the expiration. So once I've named my template, I can just hit create. All the items in the template are here below. Notice how when you hover over an item, it will highlight that item in the label preview here on the right. This preview shows you how the label will look when it's printed using this template. And the colors correspond, so rows are always highlighted in green. To add an additional item in a row, I can click an empty space in the row, or I can click the add symbol on the top right of the row. Notice how hovering over this adds the words new item to the row, so I can see where that item will be placed. We'll go over the different item choices in another video which you can find a link to in the description below. You can also click and drag rows and items to reposition them. To add a whole new row, I can go up to this next plus symbol and see the new row highlighted in green at the bottom of the preview. You can also add a whole new column here. See the new column highlighted in blue on the right. Or add a whole new section, which you will see adds to the bottom, highlighted in red. By clicking the settings icon, you can also adjust the size and settings of a row, or delete it. You can also delete or customize some of your items by using the little pencil icon. So let's say you no longer want the time that a product expires printed on your label. You just want the date. Simply find that item and use the pencil to delete it. Maybe you also want to change the format of the expiration date so that it displays differently. Again, I can use the pencil to change that. Adjusting the height and width at the top will change the dimensions of the label. So if you want a 2 by one label instead of a one by one just put in a 2 for the width and see how the preview adjusts. Once you have finished editing your template, you can hit save. Remember, there are links in the video description below for more advanced features and examples.